Hey guys and welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Federico, or you guys can call me Fed for short. And this is my new YouTube channel. Uh, it's going to be dedicated to uh, orology, uh, the watch market, uh, what watches I like, some buying advice. Um, and, you know, stuff that a lot of people on YouTube seem to find interesting. And I figured I'd try and share my opinion, seeing as I've been in the watch business um, in some way or another for the past uh, eight years, which is basically my whole career. Uh, everything from retail, uh, working at some of the biggest and uh, best watch stores in the world, to working on the corporate side for a few watch brands, um, to, you know, kind of uh, just buying and flipping watches for, for fun uh, on time zone. Um, you know, the watch market is, is a very interesting place, particularly nowadays. I mean, um, I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, watch sales have really slowed down. Um, some people say it's because of the iWatch. Some people say it's because of the uh, economy, the lack of Chinese buyers, but it's, it's a really interesting time to be a watch lover because brands are, are kind of hurting at the moment, so they're coming out with some really interesting offerings. Um, some lower price entries, um, something like the Frédéric Constant uh, Perpetual Calendar for less than 10000 I mean, that's fantastic. Um, to... Uh, lowering the price points of watches already in the market. I mean, Panerai, uh, JLC, and Piaget, uh, for example, all had uh, price decreases of about 7% uh, this year in the American market. So it's certainly something uh, to keep a look, uh, look out for. You know, and this also affects secondhand buying. Um, so, you know, I wanted to kind of just discuss this um, maybe in a daily style vlog um, and, and, you know, interact uh, with some of you guys on YouTube and see what you think. Um, I mean, I also give my opinions of my favorite watches. I mean, my personal favorite icon is uh, the Rolex Pe Pepsi Bezel GMT um, that I just got myself. I believe this is a... 16750 um, from the early 90s um, so you know in the second part of this video I figure we could take a look at it you know I'll take some up close shots and then talk you through the watch um, and you know let me know what you guys think I mean I'm, I'm pretty much open I'm, I'm new to YouTube uh, so let me know how I could improve or what you guys would like to like me to talk about uh, thank you so much all right I'll see you guys for the second part of the video. Hi guys and welcome to the second part of the video. Well, I'm going to show you what I mentioned previously was my favorite iconic watch. Uh, it's actually the 16710, not the 16750, GMT Master 2. Now they made this from 1986 all the way to 2007 and this is the Pepsi Dial version. This one, I believe, is from the late 90s. I got it box and papers, and I just love everything about this watch. Uh, I mean, it's very similar to a Submariner. It's a 40 millimeter case size. You know, it's got the rotating bezel, but in this case, it is bi-directional. And, of course, it's got the GMT hand. Um, you know, the story of this watch was actually something that made me fall in love with it. Supposedly, Rolex uh, created this piece at the request of Pan Am pilots so they could track a second time zone. Uh, you know, with the start of the jet age and, you know, people crossing time zones. You know, it's just a more efficient way to tell the time. You can actually track three time zones if you use the bezel as well. Um, this is a very, very sturdy watch. It's 100 meter water resistant, not quite like the 300 of the Submariner, but I think it, it has a tad more personality, at least in my eye. I mean, nothing wrong with the Submariner. You know, I, I definitely love it, but, you know, this is my pick, um, f you know, if I had to pick a Rolex iconic watch. Um, 
you know, everything it stands for, you know, the adventure, uh, you know, the, the fact that it was built on Pan Am's request. I mean, when I travel myself, and I do quite a bit of traveling, you know, Southeast Asia, South America, or, or just the West Coast, it's the perfect watch to kind of bring with me. And actually, this watch, which I got secondhand, still has the green sticker on the back of it. So it's a pretty good example. It has the old style clasp, the Rolex engraving. I know not everybody loves this old clasp, you know, they feel it's a little chintzy. And, you know, I don't disagree, but there's something about the older case, the pre ceramic case. Uh, you know, that's slightly smaller that I really like. You know, I know I have very large wrists, but, you know, for me, uh, when I think of Rolex, this is uh, kind of the piece that, that you know, makes me smile, the piece that, that I automatically think of. I've actually got the original box and booklets for it, which I'll show you as well, which is quite a treat. This is the original Rolex slate box. I'll open it up for you. And it still has the leatherette box inside. Which, let me get out of here. It's going to be a little hard with one hand. The iconic green box with the gold crown <laughs> that everybody knows so well. And actually, these boxes are significantly smaller than the newer Rolex boxes. I mean, the new ones are actually also leatherette, but they're suede inside. This has this nice real wood finish. Still have the tag. The booklet about the Rolex Oyster case. And the booklet about the GMT Master with the iconic... Um, cockpit view, you know, harkening back to that Pan Am story I mentioned. And this has been for service once, so it came with the service booklet as well. And that's where the watch goes. Alright guys, let me know, what, what do you think? What's your favorite iconic piece? I mean, I'm a Rolex fan, but I do love a, a lot of brands. This is just happens to be my quote-unquote grail watch which I actually obtained. Hey guys, and thanks for watching my quick little overview of the Rolex GMT Master 2 16710 Pepsi bezel. Uh, my pick for my favorite iconic timepiece. Um, and thank you for watching my first video. Um, as I said, let me let me know what you guys want me to talk about and what topics you guys enjoy. And I'll, uh, you know, I'll see if I can come out with a video, hopefully once a day, uh, discussing those topics. Uh, thank you so much, and, you know, be well. Thank you.